Hello everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. Today I'm going to share with you how I create two different flowers using money. One of them, you can see the back side of the flower and they have pointed ends. And the second one, you see the front side of the flowers and they have more rounded ends. You're going to start with three crisp brand new one dollar bills if you can get those. And I'm going to show you first how to use the rounded flower that has the that is showing the front of the of the dollar bills. So to start out, you want to start out with your dollar bills facing backwards and fold them in half. Then you're going to take the end and fold it in half the other way. Now take the end of the dollar and fold up to the fold line in the center. Unfold and then fold up to the quarter line. Now what I like to do is to take my finger and put it where the center mark is and then I take the tip and I fold up to the center. Then I take my finger and I fold up the other end. Now flip the dollar bill around and repeat the same process. Turn the dollar bill around and then you're going to fold lengthwise to the center mark. Turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. Fold up to the center mark. Now I like to take my bone folder and crease the fold marks really well. And there you have the front of the flower and the back of the flower. Now we're going to pinch the center of that folded point in and then refold the ends back down. And there you see it gives it more of a rounded look rather than a pointy look. <coughs> Do the same to the other side. Pinch the center part in and then refold your ends back up. Now go ahead and reinforce those folded lines again. Then you're going to repeat the same process. And it really doesn't matter which fold you do first, whether you do lengthwise or the shorter end first. Either way is fine as long as you get that process in.
And here I'm just showing you that you can fold in the little point before folding your sides. Or you can fold in your sides first. Either way will work. And then we're going to repeat one more time with the third dollar. This will work with any dimension of bills, ones, fives, tens. So whatever you want to use to create your flowers. Now that you have your three dollar bills ready, you want to turn them around again and fold one more time in the center. Not creasing all the way to the end, just in the center part. So you have your ends sticking up. This way when you flip it around, take your fingernail and push in the center of the dollar. This will create your petals and then you just spread your petals out. Now you're going to repeat the same process with the other two dollars. Pinch in each side and press down just in the center. Flip it around, put your nail into the center and press down and squeeze the ends in and then fluff out your petals. Now to tie the petals together, I used this raffia ribbon that we purchased at the Dollar Tree. I tied it around and then I spread out the ends, shaped them a little bit so we can make leaves. I've already cut a couple of pieces, about nine inches long. You can make it whatever length you'd like. going to snip off the edge so I could get the end of it in my bead a little bit easier. So I'm just using these little round beads. And then you want to pull the end through so that the bead is in the center of your 9 inch ribbon. Now 
Now you're going to take all three dollars and you're going to flip the direction of how you have your dollars. So when you make your petals, they alternate and it looks a little prettier. You're just going to pinch in the centers of each of the dollars and pull them together. and take your raffia ribbon with your bead on it and wrap it around and then just tie a knot the recipient can just easily cut this right off unfold all the dollars and spend them Now I don't worry about fluffing out my petals until I pull apart the raffia to make my leaves. It helps if we have that little bit extra room there in the center to work with. So I wait to fluff out my petals until I'm done with my leaves. You could shape your leaf in any way you want. I'm just going to do like a little rounded edge with a point to the center. And that's good enough for me. Now lay out your petals and spread them out. Make sure that you pinch the ends right where we put the ribbon around. Pinch those two ends pretty close together and do the same thing on the other side. Here's where you would want to maneuver your petals if they're not exactly centered. And there you have your pretty little flower. Now for this one, I folded my dollar bills the opposite way. But the process of the fold is exactly the same thing. <clears throat> the only difference is we'll keep those pointed tips instead of pinching them in to make them rounded. So fold in the center, then fold the quarter. Don't forget to fold lengthwise. Fold up your ends to make a point. Flip it around and do the other side. Turn lengthwise and fold in half to the center point. Flip it around and do the other side. Now use your bone folder to crease those folds real well. Flip up the center and the other side as well, pressing in just in the center of the flower. Do the same thing when you flip it over, pinch in the center, and then flip out your petals. Now there you have the pointed petals and you do the same thing. Three dollar bills, pinch them together, put your ribbon around, tie it. So you got your rounded and your pointed edges.